G'day folks, today I've come up to a spot that I've really come to love over the last couple of years to do a bit of fly fishing. Now I'm going to film an uncut fly fishing video here. This spot should only take me about 15-20 minutes maximum to fish. I walked through here only a few days ago with some soft plastics with my, I had my wife and kids with me and I caught a few rainbow trout and a really nice brown trout. So I've come back today with a fly. I've started off just with a dry fly only with the Royal Stimulator. So let's start the uncut dry fly trout fishing video. First cast into a tree. An uncut fly fishing video. This could be interesting. <laughs> hey you! You're watching Robbie fishing. And this is only a really small spot to fish here because if this gets too overgrown upstream and you just can't wait it. I only sort of discovered this spot a couple of years ago. I was just doing a bit of exploring and I really, really liked it. There's one hole just up here and I just know that if I don't catch a trout in it, then I've definitely got the wrong fly on. <laughs> it's one of those holes that's always got fish in it. Well, I only fished this creek a couple of days ago, so these these fish could be a bit flighty. Oh, a trout come up under that then. I don't think he will now though, because I think I just landed the fly line right on his head. Oh, whoa, he came up and nosed it but didn't want it. And again, and he's following it. Might be the wrong fly. I don't really want to have to change flies during a uh, during an uncut video. It'll be just boring. Oops. Yeah, he's under it again there now. Hmm. Might be a sign that it's the wrong fly. Now this next pool here is one of those pools where you can catch multiple fish sometimes. So if I've got the right fly on, I'll find out now. Nothing under it. Well, something's got to see that. There's fish everywhere in this little pool the other day when I was here. Got him! <laughs> Oh, hey, where are you going, mate? I'll come up here in the water. I'll take a photo of it, but I'm not going to cut it because it's an uncut video. So I'll take a photo. Beautiful trout. I'll take a photo and I'll overlay it over the film, the video, so they don't have to cut it. That is a beautiful little rainbow trout. Very, very pretty. Right on, mate. Come on. Right. Right, mate. Get the unhooked. Very pretty little rainbow trout. Well, he wanted it, so maybe the fly is good. What little trout you? Well, gone. I will have to wipe the lens. Hello. This is part of what I do when I'm fishing. I've got to constantly look at my lens and make sure that it's nice and clean. A big tip out there for any up and coming YouTube fishing channels is to be very, very careful of AeroGuard. That's the worst thing you can get on your lens. Whether you're using a DJI or a GoPro, get a bit of AeroGuard on your lens and you're done. Everything just gets really foggy.
Got to be another fish in here, surely. That one clobbered the stimulator. He didn't even think twice. You saw it and went bang. He saw it, he liked it, he ate it. Well, I'll put my fly in the rainbow trout hole. And the rainbow trout said, God bless my soul. I like, oh, one ball, just as I was lifting it out of the water then. What there? No, no show this time. Just as I was lifting it out of the water, there was a boil under me fly. Maybe he saw me. I am sort of standing out here. If I had a nymph on underneath, I reckon I'd probably catch more fish, but I wanted to fish a dry, I haven't done any dry fly fishing yet, I haven't done any fly fishing this season. But there's just something about fishing a dry on its own. Got him! Oh yeah, that was a take and I missed him. There's just something about fishing a dry on its own that I really like. It's easy to cast, it's easy to keep the fly floating. One less hook that I've, got, that I've got to deal with to get tangled. <laughs> I've had two takes and a couple of other inquiries, so the signs are good. Let's move on up to that next pool. It's a crayfish claw. I'm really gonna watch where I put my feet here. It's a bit snaky. Come on, come on, fish number two. You've got him. The brownie this time. <laughs> oh, gone. He got off. He got off. No, but near trout experience. How about we? There he goes. You just swim into the hole there, and then. How about we call that one caught? I'm saying I caught that. Alright. One bad thing about uncut videos is that I can't do the whole crop and zoom in and slow motion stuff that I like to do. You get what you're given pretty much with these types of videos. They are raw. They are as raw as I was when I got out of the shower this morning. Come on fish, gotta be one there. It's great in this really clear water here, you can actually often see the trout just come up under it. Gotta be one there, doesn't there? Surely. Gots to be. It gots to be. No. Uh -oh. I couldn't possibly present that any better than that. Maybe that trout swam up into this pool and... Oh! Maybe he didn't. Missed it. Damn. That wasn't a bad take. I was just too slow. I wasn't expecting it. <gasps> Keep catching that tussock. Make it a bit shorter maybe. See how that goes. Oh, that's a nice cast, that last. Only took me about 10 goes. Oh, how I've, how I've missed this. 
I have missed this so much. My wind, that won't help my cause. I thought something might have grabbed that there, then you know. Oh, well. Now I've caught my camera. <laughs> yeah, the camera isn't wet. No, looking good. Just got to give me glasses a wipe because they're uh, got a bit of water on them, they're a bit smeared. Now I've hooked my shirt. Right. Everything's back in business. Come on, bang. No. Now, bang. Nope. Oh, look at that. Got, got him. Oh, I done him. Oh, another one came up and he sniffed it. He, he just came up under it and had a look, but he didn't grab it. A small one. Now, folks, make no mistake, I'm not an expert fly fisherman. <laughs> I probably strike too slow or too fast or too left or too right or something, I don't know. But uh, I have a lot of fun trying to look like one. <laughs> This happens a lot when you're fly fishing and you don't see this in a lot of the videos. Catching everything you walk past. Catch your leg. I've even caught my ear in the past. It wasn't very pleasant years ago. I'm gonna try and get a cast up there, but I don't know whether I'm good enough. No one in trying. <laughs> That's in the zone. But the fish are in the zone. It's one thing to get the fly in the zone, but it doesn't really mean much if there ain't no fish there. Look at that in there. Now, no. That's a better cast. Not too far to the left. Yeah, that's better. Now, bang. Where are you? I know you're in there. If you hear me sniff occasionally, well I apologise, I normally edit that out. I get the sniffles quite often doing this. This is the last hole I'll be able to fish. This is my last chance to land a second fish. I've lost a couple. Oh, look at that. This is where I've caught a really nice brown trout on a soft plastic recently. Oh, I've done him. Oh, I snapped me fly off. I snapped me fly off. Look at that. I bet yeah, that was just a stupid knot that I tied. No, I don't, folks, I don't know whether I want to sit you through another few minutes of me tying another fly on, I and mean, there's probably a fair chance I won't catch a fish. I only caught one, and I lost about three. 
This is my first time fly fishing for the season. The first time I've had my fly rod out since probably March or April. So cut me some slack. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've found this somehow enjoyable and uh, not too boring.